Origins, come out and play. So Magic Origins is out. I went to my local game store at midnight to get this booster box for you. I am shooting it uh, quickly for those of you that couldn't get a hold of a booster box or have to wait till the morning. You don't have to wait that long to enjoy a booster box that someone else spent money on and will probably not open value. Uh, right now, there are several mythics that are pretty spendy. Um, the rest of the set, mm, got some good cards. But uh, nothing that we're really looking like, not too much like in the rare slot that we're looking for uh, to help us pay for this box. I went to my local game store uh, through the decades. They had a nice price on booster boxes, so I got a couple so we could do some drafting and stuff like that. But uh, this box is always for you guys, so let's get right to work. Find ourselves some foil planeswalkers. Ravaging Blaze. Zendikar's Royal. Thopter Engineer. And our very first rare is an ex exquisite firecraft. One and two red. Uh, it deals four damage to target creature or player with spell mastery. If there are two or more instant graveyards and uh, sorceries in your graveyard, it can't be countered. Whoops. Boy, I'm dropping cards. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right. It's not a terrible rare. At least in draft. I'm not sure it sees any standard play, although I'm not sure. It's probably on the fringes of playable. But with instant speed, it definitely would. Uraga uh, Invocation. Hydra Lash. Uh, Jade May Tomb. And second rare is Ky Kytheon's Irregulars. Two and two white for a 4 3 double white to tap a creature. Very strong. Uh, four three for four is very good in this format, but with renown one, it can become a five four if you have like something to get it through, a rogue's passage or something like that. It makes it a lot easier. Here, magmatic insight, clash of wills, blightcaster, and a uh, mana gorge or hydra two and a green for a one one with trample. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a one one counter on it. Uh, very good in draft. And maybe uh, tribal Hydra decks. It's kind of outclassed right now by creatures and standard, but you never know. Chief of the Foundry, Thumberwald Alpha, Blessed Spirits, and our third rare is Knight of the White Orchid. Double white for 2 2. This is very good. 2 2 uh, with first strike when uh, basically a white knight, and when it enters the battlefield, <clears throat> if an opponent controls more land than you, you may switch your library for a planes card and put it on the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. And it's not tapped either. So you want to play that before you play your land drop when you're on the play. Or on the draw, I mean. Definitely. Or if you're behind on land. Prism Ring. Council's Lieutenant. Enthralling Victor. And a Tragic Arrogance. Very good. Many times it's a one-sided wrath, three and two white. For each player, you choose among the permanent that player controls, an artifact, a creature, and an enchantment, uh, and a planeswalker. Then that player sacrifices all other non-land permanents. So if they have a bunch of creatures, this is very, very bad. And we have a foil, Hydra Lash. In the finals of my pre-release, that was a very powerful, powerful card my opponent played. And I lost one of the games of the uh, win and in to the top eight. We have uh, Garipur Aethergrid, Necromatic Summons, Sentinel of Eternal Watch, ridiculous creature and limited, and we have a Guilt Leaf win uh, Winnower. Three and two black for four three with Menace. Um, and when it enters the battlefield, you may destroy a target non elf creature whose power and toughness aren't equal. So. In draft, very good, since that is definitely a thing about creatures in this set. Five mana for a 4-3, basically, that is very hard to block and can 
possibly kill something. Very good. Zendikar Incarnate. Totem Guide Heart Beast. Foundry of the Councils. And a Hangerback uh, Walker. Double X for zero, 0 When it enters the battlefield, put X counters on it. When it dies, put 1-1 one, one colors. Stop the artifact creature token with flying on the battlefield for each 1-1 one, one counter on it. Pay 1, tap, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So, they're, you know, shenanigans, maybe. It's not that powerful, but some people will have some fun with it, for sure. All cards have their place. Murder Investigation, Valor in Akros, I Blight Massacre, and Greyblade Marauder. Two in a black, one four with Death Touch. And uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. So, kind of a build around card. But uh, a 1 4 with Death Touch for 3 is also very good. Even first pickable without that other ability, in my opinion. Tormented Thoughts, Anointer of Champions, Anchor to the Aether, and we have Chandra's Ignition. Very good. Uh, 3 and 2 red. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. Very strong ability. <clears throat> Will it see standard play? No, probably not. But um, in casual and EDH, maybe. Uh, limited, obviously, it's very good. Sky Snare Spider, Blood Curse Knight, Malakir Coldblade, and then Outland Colossus. Three and two blue, uh, green for sixes with a renowned six, and it can't be blocked by more than one creature. Very good. Oh, we have a Bone to Ash foil. First pickable all day long. I'm not even worried about the double green. I mean, maybe you don't first pick it because of that, but it's still really pretty ridiculous. A 6-6 six, six in this format is really hard to deal with. Uh, Consecrated by Blood. That card is pushed. Uh, not that card, but the Colossus. Now Root Trapper. Dwyan's Elite. That might even see standard play. I don't know. We have Scab Clan Berserker, 1 and 2 red for 2-2 two, two with haste with Renown 1, and whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, if it is Renowned, it deals 2 damage to that player. So, pretty powerful. Maybe after rotation you see something. I mean, a 2-2 two, two for, for 3 with haste is okay, but um, its Renowned ability is, <clears throat> is very good against control, I think. Taking creatures you control get plus one plus zero. I'm sorry, that is Warhorn. Thunderclap Waverin. Shaman of the Pack. And our rare Molten Vortex. Single red for an enchantment that you pay a red. Discard a land card and it deals two damage to target creature or player. So, limited late game. Um, maybe Modern Burn? I don't know. Is it not? Maybe it's not powerful enough. Magmatic in Insight. Man, this has been my first uncommon so much. Angel's Tomb, War Oracle, and Al Hammerit High Arbiter. Seven mana, five, five. I think this is an intro pack rare for a flyer. Seven, seven for a five, five flyer. And when it enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose the name of a non-line card revealed in this way. Your opponents can't cast that spell. The chosen name. <clears throat> Great, uh... Limited Bomb. I don't think it sees any other play. For seven mana. That's uh, that's a lot of mana. Again, sorry about the lighting. I'm just moving in here at Louisville and I don't have my studio lights just yet. Elemental Bond. Sylvan Messenger. Turn to Frog. And with Jace's Sanctum. Three and a blue. Instant and Sorcery Spells you cast costs one less. And whenever you cast an Instant and Sorcery Spell, scry one. You know, pretty powerful ability. Uh, limited playable, maybe, maybe. I mean, it's nice, but <clears throat> I don't know if it does enough just yet. Again, I'm not an expert. Uh, Patron of the Valiant. Call of the Full Moon. Rogue's Passage is now very pickable in draft, in my opinion. And our uh, we have a, a Mythic. <laughs> I think it's our first one. Demonic pack, two and two black. For an enchantment that says, 
Uh, pick one that hasn't been picked. It deals four damage to target creature or player and you gain four life. Target opponent discards two cards, draw two cards, and then you lose the game. So you put yourself on a four turn clock. I don't love that card. You'd have to be a pretty experienced player, I think, to play it well in draft. And even then, I don't ever know about casting that thing. I mean, maybe if you pay four to do the four, that it seems like a safe ability. Goblin Glory Chaser. Zendikar's Royal. Sentinel of Eternal Watch. Limited Bomb. And a Shivan Reef. And a Foil, eyes, uh, foil Forest. So I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the Magic Origins release weekend here. Hope you're playing in some events. Uh, hope you're having fun. I'm definitely having fun. I'm uh, getting some openings done and getting caught up on moving in. Ravaging Blaze, Ram Roller. I knew I flipped that uncommon, sorry. Talent of the Telepath, two and two blue. What for a sorcery that says, Target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery from among them without paying the mana cost. Then put the rest uh, in their graveyard. So, I mean, it's definitely a pay four mil seven. The rest is just, you know, oh, we have a Chandra emblem, nice. The rest is up to chance, right? You could pull seven lands or seven creatures or whatever. And Mill, as you all know, is just not a great strategy. It's fun, but just not great. Swift Reckoning, Meteorite, Possessed Scab, and an Honored Hierarch. A single green to cast a 1-1 one, one with a Renowned one. And as long as it's Renowned, it is tapped at one mana of any color to your mana pool. Very strong card. But again, you have to get it Renowned to really get that ability. <clears throat> Excuse you, Colt. I'm a brat. Mage Ring Network. Gather the Pack. Bounding Krasis. And we have a Hyxis Prison Warden. Getting to not like him. 3 2 for a 4 4, which is great, with Flash. And whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, if Hyxis Prison Warden entered the battlefield this turn, exile that creature. So it's kind of removal, too. Pretty good. <clears throat> so, what are you guys thinking of Origins? I can't wait to draft it. I'll be drafting it later today. Sphinx's Tutelage. Citadel Castellan. Goldforge Sentinel. And Sigil of the Empty Throne. Three and two white. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a four for white angel creature token with flying out of the battlefield. Now that could be something. Ooh, Liliana Emblem. Where are. I'll take the Planeswalkers, please. Um, you could definitely draft around that, and it could be pretty gross. Um, but you would, I don't know, it seems risky. Seismic Elemental. Scab Goliath. Undercity Troll. And a uh, Viren Wingmare. Uh, t three mana for a 2-1 flyer and nine creature spells cost one more to cast. I don't think, uh... We haven't seen our foil rare yet. Hopefully, uh, we see a foil mythic. This box has been pretty poopy so far, but I probably deserve that with those crazy intro packs I've opened. IRS Champion, very good in draft. Valor and Acrios. Fiery Conclusion. Oh, that's weird that the foil is right there, huh? Oh, I knew why, because Nissa, yeah, and then the flip card's in there. I wonder if that's why. Heck yeah, two and a green for 2-2. Two, two. When there's a battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under your, your control, if you control seven or more lands, exile her, bring her over, make your opponents very sad because she turns into the Sage Animus with three loyalty with a plus one. Reveal the top card of your library if it's a land, Put it on the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. Very strong. I mean, card draw in green, yes please. Uh, minus two is put a legendary 4-4 green elemental creature on a uh, token. And minus seven is untap six target lands, so it becomes six, six elemental creatures there, so land. So you just win the game. 
There's our first Planeswalker of uh, Origins 2015. Did not open in my uh, fat pack. And so that's a nice start. Whirler Rogue, Throwing Knife, Blightcaster, and a Yami Maya Coast. All right. I don't mind opening those. It's about halfway through our box. Hey, if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you subscribed and you hung out with us. Trying to add all sorts of new content, diversify a little bit. Got a Patreon going, which I'll uh, provide a link in the description below. If you want to help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Brawler's Plate. Anointer of Champions. Valoran Wardens. And Alanoar Waste. Okay. Those are very good. Those are okay pulls. Yeah, so the Patreon is all about improving the... Diversifying and improving, allowing me to spend more time on the channel. At least check it out, you know. Um, might be something you're interested in uh, helping support. <clears throat> Cruel Revival. Blazing Hellhound. Yehessian Thief. And a Mythic, Alhammeret's Archive. Five mana. If you would gain life, you instead gain twice that much. If you would draw a card, except the first one, you draw... Uh, in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. <coughs> I don't know. Boring. It's kind of a boring mythic. Definitely doesn't matter in draft that much. And That's not the mythic you want to open in draft. Sigil of Valor. Shadows of the Past. Somberwald Alpha. And a Languish. Two and two black from all creatures get minus four, minus four. Nice little um, control V aggro card. Get, it kills a lot of stuff right now that uh, piles up. Obviously it's pretty devastating to a uh, burn slash goblins deck kind of thing. <clears throat> Psychic Rebuttal. Acolyte of the Inferno. Enthralling Victor. And over Hello Moonlight. One in a white. Until end of turn if a creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. And draw a card. With a foil, Titanic Growth. Well, still holding out for a sweet foil rare. Possibly foil mythic. Celestial Fair, Flare is very good if you're anywhere near white. In draft. Oh, we have a Totem Guide Heart of Beast. War Oracle. Sigil Starfish. And a Dark Petition. Three and two black. Search your library for a card, then put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. With Spell Mastery, uh, if there are two or more instant or associated spells in your card, uh, you can also add triple black to your library. Or to your uh, mana pool, sorry. Library. It's late. I didn't get to do this like early <clears throat> like I try to do normally. We have a Patron of the Valiant. 4-4 four, four Flyer and Draft is always fine. Chief of the Foundry, Turn to Frog, and a Soul Blade Jin. Five mana, four, three flyer. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Absolute limited bomb. Um, I don't see much of a spot for it anywhere else. At least currently. Guy up here, Aether Grid, Tower Geist. Revenant. Now Link Colossus. Five mana, six, six with a renowned six. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. This might see standard play. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's pretty powerful. Six, six for five. That basically they can't double block and it becomes a 12, 12 once it gets through one time. Prism Ring, maybe after rotation. Ruined Servitor, Dwayne's Elite, and Despoiler of Souls, double black for 3 1. On, and then you can pay to black, exile two creature cards from your graveyard, return it to the, from the graveyard to the battlefield. That could see play in some mono black aggro type build, maybe. Uh, it's definitely good in draft, I think, and it's some, and an aggressive strategy. Murder Investigation. Knightly Valor, very good. Valerian Wardens. And we have a Thopter Spy Network. Two and two blue. 
the beginning of your upkeep, if you control an artifact, put a 1-1 one, one colorless stop there onto the battlefield. Whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Uh, draft and build around it. Otherwise, wake me up when it's morning. Whirl a Rogue. Blood Curse Knight. Blessed Spirits. Ah. And an Orbs of Wandering. We only have three packs left, folks. Five mana. You have Hexproof. If a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one damage. I mean, somebody played this against me in pre-release. I Blight Assassin Foil. And it, it let him survive longer, but ultimately he still lost the match. So, I mean, it buys you some time, and it doesn't let people burn you out. I mean, that's a thing. All right, Zendikar Incarnate. Angel's Tomb, Eye Blight Massacre, and Dwine Guiltleaf Dien. I probably pronounced, mispronounced three of those four words. Four mana for a three, four, very good. Reach other elves you get, plus one, plus one. Um, whenever it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. Very good. Very good in your elf decks. I don't know. It's a, just a fringe level strong. Um, a 3 4 for 4 with reach is fine and limited. Um, if you're drafting, it's very good to take that and then draft elves. I mean, that's a very, very good strategy. Tormented Thoughts. Necromantic Summons. Reclusive Artificer and Helm of the Gods. Boy, we did not get a foil rare in this box. Um, it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each enchantment you control and it has a cost of Equip cost of one last pack. So if you guys want to know, I've opened all the intro packs. This will all be part of the same playlist. I'm going to be opening many more booster boxes and anything else Origins related as well as, you know, be doing this for a few years now. So now's a great time to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, maybe crush that thumbs up button below the video. It helps new people find the channel. and helps spur me on to release new videos. Citadel Castellan, Fiery Conclusion. Malakir Coldblade, Priest of the Blood Rite. Three and two black for a two two. When it enters the battlefield, put a five five black demon creature token with flying out of the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Still very strong. No foil rare, I don't think, unless I missed it. I mean, you're not guaranteed one. Um, but overall, this is a pretty rough box. But I deserve that, given how good my intro packs were. So. Hopefully your boxes are better. Um, notable pulls, you know. I don't know. Maybe the Colossuses, maybe after rotation. Um, obviously the lands are always good. Nissa's very good. Um, Honored Hierarch is good. A lot of emblems, no Planeswalkers. I don't know. I'm still excited to draft Origins. I'm going to go to sleep and get up early so I can draft it tomorrow. I hope you guys uh, did better than I did. Either way, we'll talk to you again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.